Hi, I'm Dan Lyons and I'm a hairstylist and this is Bethan. Hi. Bethan's got this really beautiful Scream Queen makeup look going on and we want to complement that as much as possible. So what I'm going to show you how to do is a very vintage look with a low side bun with a really cool finger wave detail. So let's get cracking. Firstly, to prep the hair, we use some of this volume mousse. With Bethan's length of hair, we use about a tennis ball size of the mousse. First thing we need to do now is section off the front to the back. So literally just drawing a line from the top of the head, a little way in front of the crown, just down to the top of the ear. And then we're just gonna secure that away with a sectioning clip. And exactly the same on the other side. And now using our back comb brush, we're just going to create some nice volume for all of the root area in the back by working through in sections from the top of the head there. And gently back brushing down to the root. So we just want to use a nice amount of hairspray. It's quite a light hold hairspray, just to help us smooth through the hair as we work that down. And then just secure that into a ponytail with a nice band. And twisting the tail around, we're then going to wrap that around the base. Create our bun shape before securing with some blonde grips. And then just perfect the bun with our hairspray before we move on. Okay, so now that's done, we're going to work on our finger wave detail. Just using the tail of my brush, you could do this with a comb, whatever makes easiest. We're just going to work that low side parting into there. And now using our straightening irons, roughly a couple of centimetres away from the root itself, rotate by about 90 degrees and work through. Stop. Rotate another 90 degrees, the opposite way. Come through, stop, rotate back, and continue that process all the way down to the end. And then gonna work the same on the other side. So here we have much more hair, we need to work in sections now. Just make sure the rest of the hair is secured out of the way while you're doing this. Just makes life so much easier. Also just Give the section a quick comb, make sure there's no knots in there. We don't want to iron over those. It can give a kind of buckle damaged effect to the hair. Close the plate, rotate 90 degrees. Work through, stop, opposite direction. Work through, stop, opposite direction. The movement's all very, very purposeful. Okay, so now that's in, we just want to work these details back towards that bun area where we're then going to incorporate it in so it all flows through quite nicely. We're gonna do that in sections though. So literally just do that half. We're gonna split that kind of in two and wrap the end around the bun and secure the grip. Encouraging that movement as we go through and then wrapping the tail around the bun that's already there. And then just repeat the process exactly the same for our other side. Just for a final touch though, we're gonna use a bit of a coloured spray on the hair too. Just to flow with the makeup that's going on, just to really bring that out a little bit more. We're just gonna mix that through. Making sure I'm guarding Bethan's face. I don't wanna spoil the makeup. And there you go. Our Scream Queen look akin to those Hitchcock horror films with a very vintage style and beautiful finger wave detail. I hope you get on well with that. I hope you give it a go. If you do, let us know how you get on in the comments down below. Remember, details of all products and reviews are down there too. So, hope you have fun and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.